our uh, participation in the first international program of whole genome sequencing for model organisms such as yeast placed our institute in the international map of important places for genomic research and the outcome derived from this program became the basis for understanding secrets common to all organisms and became pilot to the technological explosion for analysis of genes and proteins that are full of promise for the future of biomedicine and biogenetics. Malaria, which was eradicated about 50 years ago from Greece, still kills about 2 million people, mostly children in Africa, every year. Our institute, through its participation in various genomic and post-genomic programs of the Anopheles mosquito, is contributing to the worldwide efforts to control this disease, which constitutes one of the major reasons of underdevelopment in tropical countries. With genome sequencing, molecular biology has entered a new era. New enabling technologies have been developed and allow comprehensive, holistic analysis of biological systems. In our lab, we are using the most powerful of these techniques, this of DNA microarrays, to analyze clinical samples and identify molecular signatures that would allow the optimal individualized treatment. Our goal is the understanding of the function of the protein secretion nanomachines essential for life and pathogenity of the microorganisms. This knowledge, combined with the state-of-art technology background, allow us to seek for new applications in the area of the development of new age antibiotics in order to biosensors and other new novel biotechnology products. Monitoring gene activity in cells is a very important question in modern molecular biology and to do that uh, most of the times people are using biochemical approaches which require uh, that the cells be destroyed. This is a major uh, handicap because um, for a number of times people want to study and investigate the living cell in its natural environment and uh, recent advances in molecular biology have allowed to do this using mostly uh, genetically encoded fluorescent proteins. These are the so-called fluorescent proteins. They are coming in different flavors, red, green and so on and so forth. And really they have revolutionized the area of monitoring uh, gene activity in the living cell, period. This is an optical tomographer that gives information in three dimensions of where and how much of a certain type of fluorescent protein is present inside a mouse. These fluorescent proteins uh, are attached to events that we want to study, in this case, to cells relevant to the immunological system. All this is done without harming uh, the mouse in, in any way. All living organisms are related. This means that we humans, the other animals, the plants and the microbes, all had some common ancestors that lived many millions of years ago. In the Development and Evolution Lab, we are exploring what it is that has changed in our genes, which makes all of us, humans, animals and plants, so different from each other. Our research focuses around two main uh, research directions. One has to do with the perception, uh, integration and storage 
of uh, information and stimuli perceived by the nervous system from the environment and the other has to do with uh, cell death in the nervous system, uh, neurodegeneration uh, as it happens for example in neurodegenerative disorders and uh, during aging. Uh, we use the simple nematode worm Synorhabditis elegans to address these issues, which allows us uh, significant advantages and uh, uh, versatility when it comes to manipulations that are required to address these specific questions. We are interested in the ways in which the brain uh, learns, stores and recalls information and how these um, functions decline with aging and stress. We use computational models to simulate the activity of single neurons in the brain in order to link learning and memory with electrical activity. Our findings show that there is an impressive capability for uh, processing information at the single neuron level and this opens up new directions about the ways that uh, memory is impaired with aging and stress. <laughs>